let's try and prove this limit here. And to prove that the, this limit, we're going to need to use the definition of a limit. So x minus 3 is less than delta. We have to show that this will always imply that the absolute value of 2x minus 6, or in other words, f of x minus l, is less than epsilon. So basically, we have, we have to show that we can find a delta that will always make this statement true. Or, or in other words, a delta that, that will imply this statement. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to start over here. I know we're trying to find a delta, but we're going to start over here. And we're going to try and make this whole thing look a lot like this whole thing. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, we're going to take a 2 out of the absolute value. And we can do that because 2, just a positive 2, is always positive. And now we're going to divide by 2, and we get x minus 3, the absolute value, is less than epsilon over 2. Well, that looks a lot like what's over here, so what we're going to do is we're just going to say let let delta, oops, let delta equal epsilon over 2. So we, we basically, we found our delta. And now we're just going to show that if delta is epsilon over two, is, is equal to epsilon over 2, then, then this will always imply that. So we're just going to say, okay, the absolute value of x minus 3 is less than epsilon over 2. And implies means that basically we're, we're going to be able to do some algebra to this statement here to get it to look like this. That's what we, we really mean when we're saying implies. So we're just going to basically do our steps in reverse. Multiply by 2. We get 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 is less than epsilon. And then we've, we distribute that in and 2x minus 6 is less than epsilon. So as long as delta is equal to epsilon over 2, or in other words, it's half of epsilon, then this, this here, will imply this. We just showed that. So now let's take a look at, a look at this graphically and see if we can get a, a deeper understanding of what's going on. All right, so according to our knowledge of the definition of, of a limit, we have a couple of intervals here. And, and we want f of x to be in this interval here, within epsilon units of 6. And for that to happen, we need x to be in this unit here, within epsilon or within delta units of 3. And just from looking at this, hopefully you can you can tell just visually that epsilon or that delta really does need to be half of the width of epsilon. So for this particular limit, delta is half of epsilon. And as long as delta is half of epsilon, if we pick an x in this interval here, that will force f of x to be in this interval. So this is a visual representation of what's going on. Okay, so that's proving a limit. And hopefully this, this helps you understand, understand what's going on a little bit better. See you in the next video.